This is Alex Habersham, publisher of the Macon Middle Georgia Black Page. Get ready, Central Georgia. For the new 2022-2023 edition. Of the Macon Middle Georgia Black Page. In hard copy and digital list. The theme is culture, the phenomenal force that brings our communities together with things like art, music, literature, and racial ethnicities, or morals, values, and principles. The Macon Middle Georgia Black Baby. Publication is your complete resource for finding black businesses in Central Georgia. The new edition will be available at various locations throughout the city. And we're on all social media platforms. Or go to our website, MaconBlackPages.com. So get ready, Central Georgia, for the new 2022. 2023 edition of the Macon Middle Georgia Black Baby. Black Baby. Culture is the essence of who we are. You will be amazed. Get your copy today. Pick up a book. It is virtually impossible to know where you are going or know where you are unless you put something into where you come from or where you came from. And that applies to human beings, it applies to activity, it applies to the world, it applies to organizations, and it applies to communities. Well, as quiet as it's kept, and we're trying to make it not so quiet, Macon Bill has been around for 200 years. And in order for us to understand where we are and where we're going, you know, we got to look at the past. You know, and, and look at what's happening, the social happening, the political happening, the historical happening, the educational happening, happening, the economic happening. So guess what? Macon Bibb County has come together to celebrate 200 years. Now, a lot of people, uh, I'm going to get on my soapbox just for a minute, Doc. Uh, a, a lot of people said, well, you know, there were so many things, you know, it's bad and slavery and discrimination and segregation and privilege and partisanship and everything. Well, yeah, you know, but you have to acknowledge that and you have to look at it and then you have to see what has been done about it, what can be done about it, because the mission of the Bicentennial Commission is to look at the past you know, evaluate the past, you know, consider the present and try to create and make it a better future. So we've got the Macon Bill County Bicentennial Committee that's been celebrating 200 years of Macon Bill. Now, but we want everybody to understand and we want everybody to be involved in this celebration. Well, if you can't celebrate it, if you don't know about it, and so, so what we're doing, we got with us the administrator. My name is Alex Habersham. This is a call to action. I also am the co-chair of the Bicentennial Commission, along with uh, my good friend and comp compadre, uh, Mr. West Griffith. But today, we have Dr. Joshua William Murphy that we're going to interview today. And he is the administrator for, you know, pull it, I mean... He's going to tell you about it. I ain't going to get into it. I ain't going to try to steal your thunder, Doc. But he's going to tell us all about, you know, what's going on with the Bicentennial Commission, how everybody can participate, what has happening, what kind of events we got on schedule, how the entire community can be involved. So as you can tell, you think I'm excited. Dr. Murphy is even more excited. Hey, Doc, how you doing? That's fine, Mr. Habersham. I'm always ready to speak on the bicentennial, brother, all the way from December 1822 to December 2023. Yes, sir. That's about what we need to be thinking about. 200 years. A lot of people don't really understand the impactful ingredients so associated with that. But there's a big word I like to deal with is engagement. And this is what we're trying to do today. Let people know what's happening. From December 2022, from the sneaker ball of December the 9th, we have been floating along right there in January, right there with the raising of the flag, right there with what we were doing at Westland's, Westland College and everything out there with Julia Ellen Craft Davis at Cannonball House right into February and just really understanding everything where we are. And just in February, we just had this whole piece 
celebrating posthumously because he's passed on with a stride on yesterday, the 19th. And even before then, so many different things are happening here with us. And on February the 3rd, we kicked off the origins, if you will, of Macon. We talked about that and we put it up on the uh, Macon City Auditorium and the city came out. Fabulous band, the mayor was there, Northeast band, Central band. And then we moved right on in with Julia Ellen Craft and her whole piece as the great, great granddaughter, William and Ellen Craft, running a thousand miles to freedom all the way from Macon, Georgia to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And even after getting to Pennsylvania, the United States sent 600 troops to still take them out of their freedom. It did not work. So they were like the Harriet Tubman. And now we're continuing in February. And then on the 21st, we are here again, dealing with race, ethnicity, and culture. This is part of the 12 themes that the History Committee put together. And that would be at Western College that starts at six o'clock on Tuesday night, every third Tuesday, we'll be doing something like that at Western College. And then Nicole Persley, February 25th. Nicole Persley really didn't know who she was until she reached the University of Michigan and started finding out that her grandfather was African-American. She'll be here on the 25th at the Cannonball House. Please get it reserved for yourself. And on the 27th, she'll be at Westland College, 6 o'clock p.m., Taylor Hall Building of the Peyton Anderson Amphitheater. And before I go on, look like you might have another question because I am excited about the fact myself, Wes Griffith, Griffith now, not Griffith and Griffith, and Mr. Alex Habersham, we don't want one person walking the street not knowing, one, that is 200 year celebration, and number two, that you don't know the activities that's going on. There are activities every month that's going on. So I'll wait on March because in March, we get ready to drop into existence what we're doing with the Bicentennial Art Show in a place that was actually built in 1977. That was one of the largest malls in this area, almost 1.2 square feet of area. And we're right there again, getting ready to put out there 10,000 square feet, 10,000 seat amphitheater. So I'm going to pause right here, Mr. Habersham, unless you want me to continue to keep on rolling. That's up to you, my brother, but I, I am excited. No, no uh, I mean, I'm going <laughs> to give you the comfort for being the most excited <laughs> about this bicentennial. Yeah, you know the phenomenon. But now, uh, j just tell the people who Miss Persley is. Nicole Persley is coming to town, and Nicole Persley is letting us know on February the 25th, and I want to steal her thunder, as you just mentioned. She want to talk to you about the importance of identity. She's coming to explain to you what happened to her all her life as she lived in Macon and throughout the South. Because when they saw Miss Persley, she could go and she could, she could pass. Passing means she could pass for somebody who was Caucasian. But when she tells you her story, and I ain't going to uh, steal all that from her, she'll get a chance to tell you whomever she was and whomever someone called her, she needed to find out for herself who she exactly was and is. Because guess what? You can walk up to anybody and say, do you believe you're Alex Habersham? And he said, I believe. Well, inside of belief is still a doubt. But if somebody says, I know who I am. And so if I ask her that, she'll be able to tell you this time. So please, wow. on February the 25th at 1.30, do not miss her at the Cannonball House. And if you miss her because you don't, there are no seats left, wait until that Monday, February the 27th, and none other than Westland College. Be there at 6 o'clock p.m., please, and see what she has to say. Yeah, before you continue, I just want to um, repeat that, that, that I'm sure that one can get the feel and the advantages of what we're doing and what we're trying to do. See, I mean, history is important. The past is important. You know, evaluation is important. Analysis is important. And then if we could engage in all of those things, then that will help us to forge, to understand where we are, to understand how we got here, and to understand what we need to do to get better, to improve the community. We're not trying to whitewash it, you know, because we, we, we came out of the shoot, you know, a few weeks ago, raising the Muscogee Nation flag at City Hall, you know, 
And so right. what that means is that we acknowledge that they were here first. Hold on. 17,000 years before we got here. You know, so that had to be a reconciliation process with the Muscogee Nation. And we've done that. And we got a young lady named Miss Trace, Tracy Rebus, who is joining us and trying to make sure that we do the right kind of representation as it relates to the bicentennial and, you know, acknowledge really the role of the Muscogee Nation in, 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 in this relationship to the Ankh-Muggy and to this land on which we now live. So that's, in, that's important. But I just love the way that you are talking about uh, the events. And, and then so uh, additionally, I want you to just kind of mention uh, about other events and how people can become involved who got events, but they want to give it a bicentennial flavor, what that process would be. Yes, sir. And I'm glad you mentioned that January the 20th date, moving from Ugmogi to Ugmogi. Thank you for saying that because that's important. People must understand history as written, as being told. So thank you so much for that because it was something wonderful standing out there at City Hall watch, watching what was what's actually what's going on. Now, somebody says, well, Mr. Habersham and Dr. Murphy, we want to do a sanctioned event. If you want to do a sanctioned event, all you have to do is send in, and we have that out for you. If you say that, you can send it into this email, JWM, and I'm going to slow it down, Bicentennial1, JWM, Bicentennial1, at gmail.com. I will do that, and somebody say, well, I know his, uh, his personal email. I'm not asking you to send it to the personal email. I'm sending it to the JWM the bicentennial, because I look at it every day, late at night, and they laugh at me because they get emails at 12 o'clock at night and say, is he going to bed? No, I'm working on making sure that this community knows what we're doing. So when you send it, we'll send you this application, you fill it out. And when you fill it out, it will come, it will come to us, letting us know that you want to be a part of that. The reason we want to sanction event, because when you do an event, we get a chance to evaluate that. That's myself. Uh, Mr. Griffith and Mr. Habersham to say, yes, they made all compliance. They've dealt with the whole harmless clause. They know what's going on. Any force mature, if anything goes wrong, you won't blame us, but you want to be a part of that. And we want to brand it. When you see Macon 200, like we have on us, that's going to be a part of that brand that you also put next to your logo. Yes, sir, Mr. Habersham, he touched that. It's important to make sure that there's a collaboration between the two entities. And please, please, please come out. Now, I did not mention, if I can, and we can continue, February 21st, Race, Ethnicity, and Culture, the History Committee. This is the second of 12 part series. Again, we're gonna be at Westland College on the 22nd. And let me say this to you, I'm sorry, on the 21st, and that's gonna be at six o'clock p.m. That's at Taylor Hall, Peyton Anderson Building. We're dealing with race, ethnicity, and culture. So please come out and be a part of that. Now I'm going to take you quickly, if I can, uh, Mr. Habersham, to March, if that's okay. You go ahead. March, March the 16th. March the 16th is the Bicentennial Art Show. It's going to be at some of y'all when you say, and then I know you my age when we say the old mall, but it's the Macon Mall. <laughs> we want you there between the hours of five and seven. For March, for March, listen to this, 16, all the way up to June, we'll be showing different types of art, sculpture, and so forth and so on. And I tell you, Julia Rubens has done a beautiful job so naming this. The first quarter of this will be so titled, watch this now, so titled, Blossoming. And I just told you, from March to June, in September, if, if, let me let me retrogress a bit then. June 16th, that would be untold stories. That would be a whole quarter, but we would still be with different art and artists who drew what it meant to be untold stories. Then we go September the 15th to December 31st. It would be called Sense of Place. It's at the mall. Now, the other part that you need to see is by a young lady. I say a young lady. 
Winnie McQueen. She has something that, that deals with cotton and cloth, and it would be hanging at the atrium. If you don't know where the atrium is in the old mall, it's at the at the uh, the place where the food court. And at the food court, you'll see this hanging from the ceiling. It's, it deals with idealism, courage, and hope. So I'm going to pause right there for the month of March. Now, if you want to see the rest of this and all of this, Macon200.com. Yes, it's on Facebook. Macon365. The Black Pages. Everything. Let's let people know. Because when I walk the street, and I'm walking the street, handing out pens, talking to folks, but let you have to help all of us tell the story. One of us is never smarter than all of us, and collectively, we are one in Macon, Georgia. Let's continue that one. Ms. Habersham, I, you know, I told you I got excited. You know I was excited. You have to be excited about this kind of work because we are just not living in this city. We are members of this city that we know is Macon, Bibb County, Georgia. And I call it, Mr. Habersham, we the springboard because we can spring the Atlanta, we can spring the Augusta, we can spring the Savannah, we can spring the Val Dawson, we can spring the Columbus. We are in the middle of the state. You don't move through this state without coming through Macon, Georgia. Stop, <laughs> take a break, and find out what we are doing. But it's here, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Outstanding job, uh, Doc. And the other thing, and then we all ought to be proud, and then we can continue to move this community in a positive direction because we're getting all kind of national and international recognition for being a beautiful place to visit and a beautiful place to live. And then what we want to do, we want to, you know, and it needs improvement. You know, we're not, we're not suggesting that, you know, that we have reached perfection. But what we are suggesting is that through the kind of efforts, you know, that bringing the community together, acknowledging our past, you know, forging a better future, you know, with that as our mission, you know, and if we could get maximum, it takes a village, you know, if we could get a maximum holistic approach by, watch me, you know, you can attend the events, you know, you can uh, you can you can become a sanctioned event. So if you've got an event going on, then you can email Dr. Murphy as he mentioned, and then you know even the Cherry Blossom Festival. You know we even the chair to, to, to give you an example of a sanctioned event. You know Cherry Blossom we're having some bicentennial concerts. You know so you know it's the Cherry Blossom Festival, but it's a sanctioned event. And so what Tara Blossom is doing is joining us and they're putting a thread of bicentennial in their activities. So it's extremely important. And then I want to reiterate, Dr. if I may, uh, Macon200.com. Now, Dr. Dr. Murphy does an outstanding job of keeping the community informed and keeping that the website updated on what's going on in the community. And we want everybody to be familiar with it and we want everybody to participate. Go ahead, Doc. And the other piece, Mr. Habersham, I never took a course, all these degrees I have in mind reading, but he said we are international in terms of what we're doing and we certainly national. Guess who just walked up to me about 30 minutes ago? Congressman Sanford Bishop, with Calvin Smyre. He looks at and say, Calvin don't have one of those. We've been talking about this in DC about what's happening in Macon. He has on his pen today wow. at the scholarship banquet in Macon, Georgia. And, and Calvin Smyre looked at me and said, he didn't finish for better. Come on, wild cat. <laughs> I said, man, I'm gonna get you one before I leave him. <laughs> so it, it's exciting. And we've got to get just that excited about what we're doing. The key point is not just the process but also the engagement with others throughout because we want these young people. And, and Mr. Habersham, I know I'm not interviewing you, but kind of give, give them a spiel about what you recommended with CMD. And we met with CMD the other day. I love my city. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I wanted it to be a surprise. So let, let's just say- Let it be a surprise. It, yeah, well, let it be I, a surprise. I, I, I can give them a little taste. I ain't gonna give them the cake, but I can give them some crumbs, okay? You know, not yeah, some crumbs. They, they probably can't handle. They can't handle the cake. 
They can't handle the cake. They can only handle the crumbs, brother. We got this 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 artist who has produced a, a video and a musical called "I Love My City," who has done a phenomenal job. So we have engaged with him to put together the official bicentennial song, you know, for the bicentennial celebration. And we're going to be breaking that out. We're going to be breaking that out. So, I mean, everybody's going to love it because it's all inclusive. You know, it's got good sound. It's positive. It's family friendly. So, I mean, we're so excited about that because that's going to help us to thrust, thrust, you know, all of the good things about Macon and the community uh, through uh, radio and TV and social media and what have you. So be on the lookout. Now, the other thing we want to tell you is that any information you see, any thoughts that you have, you know, uh, if you go, what, what's that? What's that? Uh, Facebook is Macon 365. Is that social media page? Macon yeah, they can go to Macon 365 and they can get it from there. And okay. also, again, and that's the social media Facebook, but then you want to go to Macon200.com. That's the main place we want to drive people to is that website. But what I wanted to do is to tell them to like that page, you know, follow that page. Yes, sir. Macon365 on your social media and follow that page. So what we're going to do here, Doc, we're going to go ahead and project some of the images and some of the videos from some of the activities that we've had, we're gonna insert it here. So if you would just go ahead and and do your pardon statement, and then we're gonna plug in before you we give the statement, you know, some of the videos like like from the sneaker ball and from the raising of the flag, you know, cause I think it's important that the community, community sees what we're doing, what we're trying to accomplish, but most importantly, I want the community to understand that we need your input, we need your observation, we need your participation, and we need your attendance. Go ahead, wrap it up, Doc. And we certainly need that. And Mr. Habersham, again, my brother, thank you and Wes Griffith for the great things that you all are doing of the sort with this whole piece and everyone that we're working with trying to make it happen. As we mentioned, making200.com, the website, it was put together by social majority and social majority is that Southern. of uh, Southern Amy, Morton, Amy Morton, Southern majority. And I'm saying social, but Southern majority, her and her team, Amy Morton. And this is what we want you to do. Stay connected. But guess what? Don't tell me that you have 5,000 friends. If you have 5,000 friends on Facebook, all 5,000 of your friends, I don't care if they live in Haiti, Jacksonville, Florida, Washington, D.C., New York, just let them know what's happening in Macon, Georgia, because people travel all the time. We're transit in uh, persons. So please, all of y'all brag about what's happening. And when you see what's going to happen, and like you say, he didn't want to tell you everything, just give you a crumb about I love my city. Crumb or not, I tell you, it's a good tasting crumb. We're gonna give you, I'm going to give you a glass of milk with that crumb. <laughs> but so let's keep it rolling. Let's make it happen. And we're all ready. And the reason we are excited, we're excited. And this is a genuine excitement that you see today because we are in the throes of what's going on and what should happen because the only way we can change the face and change the face of time is be a part about what we're doing and let's make it happen. History is before us. So be a part of that history for the next, next 100 years after we finish this. I'm not suggesting that we won't be here, but if so, we're gonna be just as excited. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Doc. And uh, I, I would be remiss if I didn't repeat you know, to everybody and acknowledge the phenomenal job that you are doing as the administrator for the bicentennial because really you are the glue that keep all of these events, all of these activities, all this marketing, all this history, you know, all these contacts together. So I want to publicly acknowledge you for the outstanding job that you are doing and keep up the good work. This is a call to action. I'm your host, Alex Havisham, who also happens to be the, the co-chair of the Bicentennial uh, Committee, along with Wes Griffith, Griffith, G-R-I-F-F-I-T-H, Griffith, and having an interview with administrator in the person of Dr. Joshua William Murphy, who is doing an outstanding job. Appreciate all that you do, man. This is a call to action. 
I'm your host, Alex Habersham. Have a great day. www.makingblackpages.com This is Alex Habersham, publisher of the Macon Middle Georgia Black Pages. Get ready, Central Georgia, for the new 2022-2023 edition of the Macon Middle Georgia Black Pages in hard copy and digital list. The theme is culture, the phenomenal force that brings our communities together with things like art, music, literature, and racial ethnicities, or morals, values, and principles. The Macon Middle Georgia Black Pages. Publication is your complete resource for finding black businesses in Central Georgia. The new edition will be available at various locations throughout the city. And we're on all social media platforms. Or go to our website, MacomBlackPages.com. So get ready, Central Georgia, for the new 2022-2023 edition of the Macon Middle Georgia Black 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 Culture is the essence of who we are. You will be amazed. Get your copy today. Pick up a book.